Welcome to the Chris Harold Show, where we help coaches, consultants, and experts go from overworked, overwhelmed, and underperforming to enjoying a full sales pipeline and more revenue in order to fulfill your kingdom assignment and create an eternal legacy using our God's Masterpiece Rapid Success System. Welcome your host, Christopher Harold. So the first thing you say is you, you try to get it out to everyone. Well, that's the first problem because we don't need to try to get it out to everyone. So we need an audience. We need a who. So, so first thing, stop trying to sell it to everybody. All right. Cause yeah, everybody could use it, but everybody doesn't need it and everybody doesn't want it. So, 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 so let's get rid of that network marketing mindset. They teach us that I did it too, but it's, it's a, it's, it's a load of crap because that's why people struggle. They try to sell it to everybody. So we have to pick an audience. So, so, when we, when we went over the exercise, even in the master class, or have, did you do the exercise to create a who? Did, did, you, did, did you create a specific audience, a person who we need to target, their age, demographic? What are their pains? What are their problems? Because if you didn't, well, here's, here's a good example. Use me as an example. I was in the music business. I was young at that time. I was, I was three years in, in the music business in 2001. I didn't understand the legalities, but when someone explained it to me, hey, they can help you with your music contracts, all this and that. That's an audience right there. So there are people, independent people in the music business who cannot afford the big time attorneys out there, but they can afford, like, I, I'm paying 17 bucks a month. I don't know what the rates are now, but maybe because that's what I paid in 2001. But they can afford 20, 30, 40 bucks a month to get legal counsel. So that right there is an audience, people in the music business. You know, independent people in the music business. You know, independent music producers to do contracts with other people. Um, uh, so have, have you done that exercise to come up with an audit? I gave you one real quick, but have you done that exercise? Yes, I did do that exercise. Um, so, my so, audience uh, yeah, was uh, working class uh, individuals uh, between the age of, let's say, 30 and up. Um, who would need is. attorney services for? Why, why, why a working class individual? Well, you have to be able to at least afford your uh, monthly installment for the uh, service. Right, right. But I gave you an a, a entrepreneur and a business owner. Why, working, well, why would a working class individual need legal services? If I'm working, well, when I say working class, I mean... And when I say working class, you could have your own business. I mean, right, I'm not right. saying that you have to be working. Uh, white right. Okay. Collar or okay. So, 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 so we need to dial in more on that. That's not clear enough. Working class okay. is too broad. So we need to be an entrepreneur, okay. a, mu a, a music producer, or a, uh, uh, a an aspiring entrepreneur. It, it has to be someone where legal services will be needed for you because if you're in business, it's smart to have some type of legal services. More, it, it, like, like people, it's like starting a business without insurance. That's, that's like playing Russian roulette. And the reason why I say right. music business is because we negotiate with people on contracts and it's good to have that for 20, 30, 40 bucks a month, whatever the fee is now. So, so get more specific on the type of person. I wouldn't, the working class is too broad. So get specific who you, what kind of people you know would need legal services on a regular basis? Not someone who may randomly need it once a year, but someone who would know they would need it. These are the kind of folks you need to dial in on. You know, it, it, I mean, is this making sense? Yes, yes. I have, um, uh, let's say, new entrepreneurs. I have actually uh, gotten involved with uh, a few individuals that started off uh, as new entrepreneurs and in the business to, you know, have an attorney look at their contract. So I did do that as well. What do you mean you did do that? What did you do? Well, I introduced the, um, the um, service to them and uh, they did contact the attorney, but, uh, um, after that session, I haven't gotten back in contact with them. So, but I know that they do use the service at this point. So, you, <laughs> so you got a client? You saying you, you got customers? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. 
So, so basically, and right now, the major challenge is you need more, right? Exactly. And, and so, so if you got clients already, then ask yourself, what's the similarities with my current clients? And, and, and here's something else you can do. Go back to them and say, why did you buy? And they're going to tell you, I bought for this, this, and this. And you write that stuff down. Why? Because now that's called ad copy or marketing copy that you can use to target an audience. And people tell you why they buy. This is what I do. When, when people join, people in the master class, I ask some folks why they join the master class. And as you guys know here, when you join God's masterpiece, I ask you why, right? I'm not just asking you why, just, just, just for the sake of hearing you guys talk. But you telling me the reasons why, that's why I go back and put in my marketing. Because the reason why someone buy is the reason why somebody else will buy as well. So go back to those folks who bought and ask them, why did you buy? And they're going to tell you why and write that stuff down. And then uh, we want to be able to create a lead magnet. So that way... Uh, you can attract people with something because I don't know uh, the process, you, you know, and that's something we gonna, you know, why you in it, that's why you in the uh, guys. Hey, it's Chris, and really quick, I know you're enjoying the video, but hey, if you are thoroughly enjoying this video, would you please do me a quick favor, really quick? First and foremost, would you hit the like button? You know, give me a thumbs up if you definitely are enjoying this video. Also, secondly, would you be, go ahead and subscribe to this channel? And then when you subscribe, make sure you click the bell. It should be a bell as well. So that way you're notified each time when I upload something new. And if you're thoroughly enjoying this, I want to know. Leave me a comment. Tell me, tell me what you're finding most valuable about this as well. And so let me know by, by leaving a comment below as well, my friend. And it would encourage me to continue to upload more content like this as well, my friend. So again, thank you for being here. I appreciate you uh, checking out my YouTube channel. Now, let's get back to your video.